In 1947, the U.S. Navy issued a requirement for a fighter that could intercept an enemy aircraft at an altitude of 50,000 feet, within five minutes of the alarm being sounded. The Navy also wanted an aircraft that followed the designs and research of the German aerodynamicist Alexander Lippisch, who moved to the U.S. after World War II. The Douglas F-4D Skyray was designed to meet the requirements. It had a rounded delta wing design, and was named after its resemblance to a manta ray. Initially the Skyray was supposed to use a single Westinghouse J-40 turbojet engine, but the J-40 proved troublesome and was eventually cancelled. Instead, the aircraft was fitted with the larger Pratt & Whitney J-57 engine. The Skyray was one of the best-known early jet fighters, and was affectionately known as the Ford. In September 1962, the F-4D Skyray was redesignated F-6. The Skyray was armed with four 20mm Colt Mark II cannons, with 65 rounds per gun. It could also carry unguided rocket pods, four Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles and two 2,000-pound bombs. In April 1956, VC-3 was the first U.S. Navy squadron operational with the F-4D. The U.S. Marine Corps also operated the Skyray. However, the Skyray had a short career in Navy and Marine Corps service. It was a dedicated interceptor, and was unsuited to the multi-mission capabilities that would soon be in demand. The last Skyray was retired from Navy and Marine use in 1964. The aircraft never saw use in combat. In total, 419 F-4D Skyrays were produced. The F-5D Skylancer was intended to be a Mach 2 capable successor to the Skyray. It was a development of the F-4D, and was first designated the F-4D-2N. It was redesignated when the design became too different from the original. However, the project was cancelled and only four prototypes were built. <laughs>